Oh, we are chock full of last minute Thanksgiving recipes and tips today, but I'm going to start out the show with a Thanksgiving leftover recipe because you know what? You're bound to have them. And uh, what do you do with all that leftover turkey? Well, I make great turkey soup. I do turkey tetrazzini. Uh, you can turn them into turkey enchiladas. Um, but today I'm going to do a classic. This is something my mom and my grandmother always did with their leftover turkey. And the great thing is, is you can probably use some of the other leftovers uh, from Thanksgiving. I'm going to do turkey a la king. It's a real quick fix. And it really, um, in a couple of days when you're feeling like turkey again, I know sometimes it gets a little turkeyed out. Um, but this is like a brand new meal. So Saturday night, you're going to be hungry for this, and it's a real quick fix. So a sip of coffee, and I better get to work. We got a jam-packed show. Got the apron on today because we've got lots of cooking to do. Okay, so turkey a la king. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start sauteing some mushrooms in some butter. So I've got four tablespoons of butter, and I just want to get that into a nice big skillet. I'm using a non-stick skillet. What time do you guys all do your dinner, by the way? We actually kind of munch throughout the day and do, like I say, board games. We are huge into Yahtzee at our house and Monopoly and Trivia Pursuit. And every year the kids groan. It's like, really, Mom? Do we have to? And then we've got all the cousins and everything um, this year. So we just got a big, big family uh, um, to entertain. But then they start playing them and start, everybody starts laughing and it's just a ton of fun. I actually have some nephews um, that are home from college so it's just going to be a really great day. Okay so I've got my butter melted and I want to do about four ounces of mushrooms and you know basically that's about half of, of a package of the pre-sliced. You know those eight ounce containers just kind of eyeball it. We're talking, you know, d depends on what size the mushrooms are. These happen to be big, gorgeous mushrooms. So maybe, you know, six or eight mushrooms. Just get them in here. My guy is a big mushroom guy. So Bob loves mushrooms. So just depends how many you want. So I'm going to get those in there and get them sauteed for a minute or so. And by the way, today's show, we're going to talk gravy 101. That is one of the stressors I know when it comes to Thanksgiving. Lumpy gravy or gravy that's just not working for you. Or gravy, when you taste it, it's like, need something, something else. So later in the show, I've got some tips on um, things that you can add to that gravy if it's just not tasting the way you think it needs to. Just some last minute things that you can add in there and also how to make perfect gravy because there is a couple of secrets that I've got to help you out. We're also headed to my house to make cranberry sauce. Ireland and I um, make homemade cranberry sauce, and it's the tradition that we do. I grew up on the canned stuff. I really did. I had never made homemade cranberry sauce until a few years ago when, you know, my kids never ate the canned stuff, and I thought, well, let's try the fresh, and let me tell you, it's really delicious. A little salt and pepper into my mushrooms. This is a really neat tip. If you've seen me with this bowl on the show, I had one of my chef friends, um, bring this one time when he was cooking on the show with me and I said what in the world is that and basically this is a great mixture to keep by your stove at all times it's a cup of kosher salt which is really the the salt that most chefs use these days because you can pick it up with your hands and really kind of control the seasoning you know how sometimes you shake 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 with the salt shaker and sometimes too much comes out or it's not coming out enough well this you can just use with your fingers so it's one cup of kosher salt and one cup of coarse grind pepper and just mix that together and always keep it by your stove and it just makes cooking and seasoning so, so easy. So my mushrooms are starting to get a little bit soft. And now to my mushrooms, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of flour. I'm real excited about my new cookbook that's coming out. And um, I mentioned a turkey tetrazzini and a great turkey soup recipe. Both those recipes are going to be in my new cookbook. Um, it's coming out in December and it's at stores all over. So you guys have been asking me for it. I finally did it. Pretty excited about that. Okay. So my mushrooms and my flour are starting to, um, you just cook that flour for a little bit. Mushrooms are starting to get soft. Um, the flour is cooked just a little bit in there. If we were to just add our milk or our heavy cream right away, 
it might get, the sauce may get kind of a floury taste, and we don't want that. So basically, if we cook that flour for a minute or so, then that um, flour will just be used to thicken the sauce, and you won't really taste the flour, which is a good thing. So we're going to kind of eyeball it. You may have some extra chicken stock around. I always do, um, especially, you know, that's a great help when it comes to making the gravy. So I'm going to add one cup of chicken stock, and I always keep a little extra just in case. And about a cup of, it's your choice, you can use heavy cream, heavy whipping cream, or if you want to cut back a little bit, you can just use a cup of milk. So I've got that in there, and I want to bring that to a, a boil, and it's going to thicken up right away. So while that's doing its thing, I'm going to dice up some red pepper. If you have a little jar of pimentos, that would work in here too. We always had a little bit of pimento or red pepper in our turkey a la king growing up, so um, I put it in mine too. Just adds some nice color. Uh, it's... And I love red pepper, and it's actually really good for you. So I'm just going to give that a fine dice. But as I said, a couple tablespoons we're looking for of red pepper or pimento. Get that in there, just diced up. That looks perfect. Maybe a little bit more. And then the other thing that I put in my tetrazzini is, or my tetrazzini, I'm already thinking about things to do with my leftovers. I'm talking about my ala king here is um, I do... Um, some peas. So you may be making peas for Thanksgiving as your veggie today. Just feel free to, um, you know, if you've got some leftovers, throw them into this turkey a la king. And this is a real quick fix. Okay, and now I'm going to just... Got a little bit of Italian flat leaf parsley that we're going to use to finish off the dish and just kind of decorate it. Now, what is this great on? This is absolutely fabulous over, and growing up, we just had it over toast or a toasted English muffin. Also really great. My mom's a big noodle fan, so we would put this turkey a la king, spoon it over noodles or mashed potatoes. You're going to, you may have leftover mashed potatoes, so that's a great way to use those up. Um, but my favorite way to have this turkey a la king is over frozen puff pastry shells and uh, these rock. Basically, you get them in a box in the freezer department, and they're like these hard little discs. So you pull them out of the freezer, and you don't let them thaw. You get them right on a cookie sheet, and then you bake them according to package directions. And they puff up, and they absolutely become wonderful. I'll show you what happens with them in just a minute. So my sauce is starting to thicken up. At this point, I'm going to add um, some leftover turkey that you've either diced up or shredded one to two cups, just depends on how much you have. And then I'm gonna get my red pepper in here or my pimento for some color and my peas. And these are just frozen peas. You don't even need to let them thaw. They're gonna just cook right in there. Get all that red pepper in there. And we are just about done. See how that sauce thickens up? I just wanna show you my puff pastry shells which are so cool and they're so cute. And I serve these um, in so many different things. I mentioned my cookbook. I've got a recipe that uses these to make an elegant egg dish. Um, I do a seafood recipe with these and you just split them right open. Put the top, oops, bottoms down first and we're gonna save the tops. Then you're gonna spoon some of this sauce once it's warmed and thickened. How good that looks. I'm a big fan of leftovers. Are you kidding me? Leftovers are amazing. If you plan them out and make different meals out of them. All right, then the tops go back on. Yum, yum, yummy. And then you can garnish that if you want. Maybe you've got a little leftover parsley. This is just Italian parsley. Just chop it up a little bit, sprinkle it on the top, and you have a whole new meal made from your leftover Thanksgiving turkey. And by the way, of course, this works with chicken, too. So there we go. This is a family favorite, something my grandmother has been making or made for us for years and years. My mom passed this recipe on to me, and now it's for you. It's my turkey a la king. Recipes on our website. You can also pick it up at any Festival Foods.